let's look at how you calculate income tax. So the income tax is the money you pay based on your taxable income. You pay it to the government and then the government uses it for things like schools, hospitals, roads, armies, etc. Australia has what we call a progressive tax system. So in some places they have a flat tax rate where you might just pay, say, 20 cents for every dollar you earn. Here, the more you earn, the greater the amount of tax you pay on the earnings over a certain amount. I'll try and explain what that means. So if you're working in a part-time job or you're working in a very, very low paid job, you'll probably earn less than 18,200 in a year. That means you will pay no income tax. Now it could be that you might work a lot during school holidays or something like that, and you might get some tax taken out of your account, but because you're earning less than $18,200 per annum, you'll get some of that money back at the end of the, finan end of the financial year as a tax return. Now, if you earn more than $18,200, you need to pay income tax. So you can see underneath that we've got different rows and those rows are called tax brackets. So someone earning between $18,201 and $37,000 is in the first tax bracket and they pay 19 cents for every $1 over $18,200. So the first $18,200, they still don't pay any tax on, but it's for everything past that amount. So if they earn $18,210, $10 more, they'd only pay 19 cents for each dollar of that $10, not much tax at all. So let's have a look at an example. Let's say um, you earned $37,000 exactly. Now that would put you in that tax bracket between 18,201 and 37,000. So to work out how much tax you'd have to pay, you would have to take away the 18,200 from the 37,000 to work out how much you earn in excess of that threshold. How much more than 18,200 did you earn? In this case, it comes out to $18,800. The next thing we need to do is we need to multiply that $18,800 by 19 cents. Now don't just multiply it by 19, because if you do, do, you'll get a very big number and you'll be very wrong. You have to multiply it by 19 cents as a dollar amount. So 19 cents as a dollar amount is 0 0.19. In effect, what we're doing is we're finding out what 19% of $18,800 is. And if you're working at a percentage, you usually have to multiply it by a decimal. And that's what we're doing. So that would come out to $3,572 tax payable. So usually that would get taken out of your account by your employer during the year. But let's say, I don't know, you worked for yourself and you didn't pay any tax during the year, you would then get a tax bill for this amount of money. You'll notice that 3,572 is also written up in the tax table for the next tax bracket. Now, the reason that is, is because as you earn more money, you still pay the same amounts of tax on the earlier or, the, or the, on the smaller amounts of money that you did before. So from 18,201 to 37,000, you pay 19 cents per dollar. But if you earn more than $37,000, you'll still pay that 19 cents per dollar on the 18,201 to 37,000. But then for everything over 37,000, you're going to pay 32 cents for every dollar. So the 3,572 in that third row there is the 19 cents for every dollar between 18,200 and 37,000. If we move on, let's do another example. Let's say you earned $145,000. That would put you down into the fourth tax bracket there between 80,001 and 180,000. You'll need to pay um, 37 cents for each dollar over $80,000. So you'll pay 37 cents times 65,000. The calculations then, 17,547 plus 0.37, don't forget you've got to put it as a decimal, times 65,000. That comes to 41,597. That's the total tax you pay. And so notice, even though we earn 145,000, we're not paying, um, 37 cents on every dollar in 145,000, 
we're only paying the 37 cents on the amount more than 80,000. So when you're doing these questions, you just have to work out which bracket you're in, and then you do the calculation that's next to that bracket over on the right. Simples.